Alaska has their special election to fill the seat vacated by Don Young. He was the longest serving Republican in the House, um, and he was seeking his 25th reelection when he died in March, like literally traveling traveling home to Ala uh, to Alaska. But the thing is, there are 48 candidates, and because they've just changed their voting regulations, it's one primary, and the top four could be of any party. So like, it's not one Republican or one Democrat. It's just like kind of a crazy free for all. There are 48 candidates running in total. There's like two Democrats, six, or I think six Democrats, 16 Republicans, two Libertarians, and then like 24 unaligned like independent candidates. So like Sarah Palin's running, but then also this guy named like Santa Claus is running. I- We gotta get some deets on Santa Claus. Please. Okay, please. let's see. I gotta know. Santa Claus is an literally, independent. Literally Santa Claus. Ooh, his, his, oh my God. <laughs> he was born in DC, has a graduate degree and a bachelor's from New York University. Uh, what? He's the mayor of the North Pole, because why not? <laughs> well, he's That's a councilman so too. Um, is that his legal name? It has to be, because it's appearing on the ballot that way. Who will take Alaska's one house seat? Sarah Palin versus Santa. <laughs> Santa Claus is an independent, progressive, democratic socialist. Oh no! <laughs> that shares many of the old senators. Santa many, well, I guess it makes sense that Santa would be a socialist, <laughs> if you think about it. He shares uh, many positions as, uh, the same positions as US Senator Bernie Sanders. All right, he's canceled. He's a longtime advocate for child health, safety, and welfare. Santa believes all members of Congress must find common ground, work together and represent their diverse constituents and move our nation forward in a productive manner that endures, ensures happiness, peace, good health, and prosperity for everyone living in the United States, including Alaska. Um, but then he's got like an energy position over here. He just straight up links to BernieSanders.com slash issues. He's like, no, I don't care. Listen, if you want to read about my- Basically, beliefs, I like- <laughs> Go Bernie read Santa. about Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want a headline that's like, Bernie Sanders endorses Santa Claus. <laughs> He's been a union member uh, for half a century and supports Medicare for All and the Congressional Cannabis Caucus. Um, he was a former member of Alaska Public, the Public Broadcasting Commission, the president of the North Pole Community Chamber of Commerce. That's not real. Let's be clear. I refuse no, there is a town in Alaska called North Pole. Oh, I see. I see. So, that's, but he has. That's true. And I, he's not giving me enough information about when he was like. I grew up in D.C. and then I obviously lived in New York for some time. And then at some point, I found myself as Santa Claus. Like, did he's he? Got a, he's got a Twitter and a YouTube on him. Did he? Oh, should we go to this? I think we should. Did, okay, no, hold on. He's. Santa Claus is answering all my questions. I don't know why I even doubt it. Before <laughs> his legal name changed to Santa Claus in 2005, Santa served as a special assistant to the deputy, deputy police commissioner of New York City. Wow. Uh, he was a member of the Federal Emergency Management Agency's National Defense Executive Reservation. This is a serious person. I'm just so, I'm so uh, while baffled by this. The, while director of terrorism research there's a typo, I'm not totally sure what it means. Director of Terrorism Research and Communication Center and the Chief Safety and Security Officer of the U.S. Virgin Islands Port Authority. Do you know why that's interesting? Because the um, Port Authority, the British Virgin Islands Port Authority, um, well, it's British, not U.S., but they just, we just got a, they got arrested for like drug smuggling. That's irrelevant <laughs> to this conversation, <laughs> but. Yeah, don't bring um, Santa into that. That's bit. true. He, the U.S. Virgin Islands, not the British. <laughs> Who knows what's going on over there? He believes that love, not fear, is the greatest power on earth. I'm <laughs> sorry. When is he coming on the show? I don't understand. <laughs> we, we, of course, have some problems at the house when it comes to bettering ourselves through health. Uh, one of the chief problems is right here. Oh, no. <laughs> right, right there. What? If you don't work out, I'm going to leave the house. Okay. You want me to leave? Can we leave Atlas? No. Oh. No. Oh. Are you gonna stay? Are you gonna work out today? If you don't work out today, I'm gonna leave the house. Really? Yeah. Why? It's for your health, benefit, group cohesion, and overall well-being of you and everyone in the house. You know, technically, I'm not supposed to leave my desk until five, right? Yes, but there's exceptions to the rule that I have <laughs> garnered and granted in this particular household for the betterment of, of everyone, and you're okay. Okay. You know, technically I'm- Stop making excuses. Four o'clock. I will see you there. But I don't have shorts. Doesn't matter. You don't need them. Okay. I will see you there. Yes? What kind of workout are we doing? Fun workouts. 
You say it's fun. Yeah. But is it fun? Yeah. But is it? Exciting workouts. Is it exciting? Like, are we doing base jumping? Uh, we, you'll see once we do it. <laughs> you don't too excited about that. It'll be, it'll be fine. Four o'clock, see you there. No, give me See you there. I'm no. wearing jeans too, you know? Oh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so we, so make sure I got, we got one group, two group, three groups, four groups. Right. Keep one in case you All right, guys, listen. How first, we going? first of all, I apologize. I didn't bring the truck. Joe Biden, so fault the motorcycle, fair enough. All right, so listen, what we're gonna do, you guys haven't worked out in a hot minute because you know somebody didn't return my phone calls and Luke was out of town. So we will go with that side of the house. We're gonna ease you guys back into it, okay? All you gotta do, super simple. It's Friday, you're feeling right, you're ready to go party or whatever it is you wild and crazy kids do nowadays. I'm gonna, you need to give me 15 minutes of working out. It's, we're gonna practice KISS today. Keep it simple, stupid, okay? Yo, that's new for you? Never done that before? You never kissed it before? We're gonna do group one. You guys are the two best friends anyone could ever have, except for y'all, y'all group two. You're group three, you're group four. So it's gonna be super simple, guys. Group one, all you're gonna do is a push-up. Hell, up, hell, up. You gotta go to your knees, up. You can do it in the grass, it'll be okay. Um, next up, You've got thruster. That's so true. all you're gonna do, and I'll spread you out here, ball, you're going to hup, slam. Ball slam down, hup, slam. I said thruster, should have been ball slam, I apologize. Then you're going to do burpee. Hup, okay? Then after burpees, snatch. So you're just gonna come over here, Dumbbell, up, take it to the top, control it down, back to the ground, switch over, take it to the top, take it down, back down. This is a sign. <laughs> hey, I've seen you on TV. Go, man. All right. I got a car coming. Car coming in. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. So just like that. You Are you gonna participate it. now, Tim? No, no we got oh, the groceries on the floor. Groceries. Groceries. Yeah, we got a bunch of bags of groceries. groceries. We go shopping. I gotta run errands. Groceries. I gotta work. Oh man, if you did the groceries in one trip, that would have counted as a workout for a week. When Luke brings the fitness guy out, yeah. everyone who works here who participates will get a hundred dollars bonus. Great. That's so much. Wait. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what. She's over there just smiling. Like grandma watching the children. I'm gonna have Take it on the porch. There we go. Pick them up, throw them down. Pick them up, throw them down. Destroy those blue balls. Let's go. Come on. What are you doing over there? There you go, you have one job. Destroy the blue balls. Why are you filling only me? <laughs> Why? Pop them out, pop them out. Pop it down, switch hands. I'm telling you, the camera guy needs to get in on that vein right there, boy. Everybody, your viewership will go right up with that arm vein popping like that. I'll tell you what, there's your ninja in training right there. Let's show a video of him doing number push-ups on hot asphalt. No one will really have to do. All right, rotate. There's rocks on it, too. Quick, quick, quick. Your mama was home on your left. Nice. Right, let's go. This station is burping. Good. There you go. All the years you wanted to blow up the blue balls, there you go. It's there, funny. The next one. Oh, do we have an arm How about Chris, you want in on this? No. My man, my man, he's a guy. He's right. Mm, negative, Ghost Rider. The pattern is full. Hold it tight. Keep it going. You didn't hear about the financial incentive right here? Yeah. Let's go, come on. Good job. Push, push, go. Nick, you should have filmed us when we started on this station. Not right now. Come on, Luke. Huh? Let's get it. You talked smack to me earlier. Let's go. Oh, I Let's go. A bit. Let's come back. <laughs> learning blades? Yeah, I'm learning to rollerblade. And I'm delivering water to everyone. 
what I'm doing instead of the workout today because I didn't bring my workout well, you guys gotta get ready. Soldier fit, look it out. Quick, let's go. Let's go. Right. I thought someone was going to be cooking. Let's go. Come on. Someone doesn't look like they're cooking. I was cooking. I'm still cooking. Ah, Cameraman even got it in. Phenomenal. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. right. yeah. Do you know my neck is hurting. Luke says to drink water if you're thirsty. More at nine. So we will do just two very, 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 very super duper, easy, super duper, 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 simple self-defense deals. All right? Yeah. So the first thing, I'll borrow you. So the first thing is a lot of times you find yourself, you're in a confrontation, the person's like right in front of you, they're coming into your space, or they do this number here, right? Where they're gonna go out, they're gonna push, they're gonna put their hands on you. The reality is most of the things that I've seen that happen when it comes to street, there's a lot of bravado, right? It's a lot of peacock, right? And the, the whole point of the peacock, I'm gonna try to show you that I'm the bigger badass, right? And so then I'll come, push. Very, honestly, very, very seldom do I see a lot of folks come in and throw a punch, but if they do throw a punch, they're gonna throw that haymaker, right? But what they're normally doing is they're trying to puff up their, their dude, they're trying to impress their girlfriend, like, man, get off me, they're pushing, right? You've gotta be able to assess that situation. I always tell you, go with your gut, whatever it is that you feel. But if they come out and that hand is out and extended, right? This is a very easy way. You either need to be in or out. I like to grapple, so I prefer to be in. They're here. Now I'm in, right? I'm gonna get in close tight. I'm not standing up here. Why? Because he can throw an elbow, hit me in the backside. I'm here. Now, once I get here, it's up to you what you want to do, right? If you're really trying to avoid the fight, I hit that arm drag, I'm in, I'm collapsed. Man, I ain't trying to fight you. Push, and now I'm gone, right? If you're gonna push and go, my recommendation is to go. What's the number one martial arts in the world? Away. Track and field, yeah. best <laughs> martial art in the world, okay? All right, if you are concerned that they may chase you if you push them off, I'm not going to finish this. When you guys practice it, you're not going to finish it. Say it with me again. We're not, not going, going to finish it. It takes no pressure, no power, and the reality is you stand a very, 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 very good chance of knocking the person out with the earth, okay? So we get into this position. I have that arm drag. I'm tied. All I'm gonna do is step hook here, and now I'm gonna pull with my hips. If we had a mat, I would show it to you. This right here, it doesn't seem like much, I promise you, it will launch his ass. Because there's nothing there, and all it is is I'm here, I hit that hook, I hit my step, my legs block. You're actually not even throwing. All you have to do is here, set down with a little pop, you will launch him. So you guys find a, a mattress somewhere or, or anything that's soft and do it. You will throw them, right? Yeah. So you have that option. That's the easiest option. If you're a little bit stronger than the person, right? I have the option of just hop, launch, and he's gone, right? And if you notice, I'm trapping this arm. So I've already negated that arm, right? <laughs> and when I'm here, it's just, see how I do that? Right? Not a lot of power. Just here. Everybody, as a matter of fact, we'll practice this real quick. Take your hand like this. Take your other hand like this. Grasp. All right. So I'll use you for example. Do what you just did. This is why this is ineffective. Because if he's on me, I'm gonna take this thumb, I'm gonna break his thumb. It's exposed, it's out. But if I come in here like this, see how I'm gripped? So my thumbs are tight, everything's in, but I, this is called a gable grip. Dan Gable, one of the best wrestlers of all time, he's the one that did it. You hook this in, it is a very, 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 very difficult grip to break. But what you want to do is you want to catch over the hill, I mean not over the hill, over the thumb, over here, and then pull. You'll feel that gets very, 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 very tight, all right? Nobody's going to be able to do that side of the house, all right? So, you have the last option you have with that, I'm here, right? If I 
This works pretty well if you're about the same height as the person. I'm here. I think he's really combative. He's trying to fight. And you just take him back, right? <laughs> it's not, not complicated. I'm here. I'm worried that he's combative. Slide over, through, and he's down, <laughs> right? So this, this is the choke. It's by, around the throat, behind the head, here. And I'm closing that distance down, all right? Who wants to try to choke me? Do it, Sarah. Come on, yeah. I'll sit right here. What? Come on. Do it. Up. Oh, no. up. Why? All right, go ahead, come behind. All right. Sometimes I try to be the right height. Okay, so the arm. I actually just set down this way to be easy for you. So set down right here. Put your feet. <laughs> this way. Just be easy. And come up around the head. Like. Okay, get here. And then this arm goes. This through. arm. This hand is here. Okay. Into the elbow. So okay. this arm's here. Okay. All right, good. Now. Okay. Slide that down behind my head. Right now, squeeze. Don't be scared. Choke the shit out of me. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> That's great. Not bad. Yeah, that's great. Right? Strong. <laughs> but what I want you to understand is, are you afraid of passing out? Um, let's skip on me. <laughs> <I'll pass out. laughs> and Andy likes doing worried? it all the time. Who's not worried about it? <laughs> sure. <laughs> let's go here. I'm going to get beside you. All right. This is what you want it to feel like. Okay? Okay. I'm coming underneath. And as soon as you're ready, you just tap that or you tap this out, okay? Okay. I'm coming underneath, all right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of folks think it's a windpipe choke. It's not a windpipe choke. This is uncomfortable, right? This doesn't feel good. Mm -hmm. But I can toughen through that, right? I can't toughen through this. Mm -hmm. This has nothing to do with being tough. I'm coming here, right? You ready? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. Now, what did that feel like to you? Uh, like I was being suffocated. I felt. <laughs> I feel like I felt yeah. my throat go. So, yeah. so <laughs> how many of you have ever felt Traumatized. being choked before? You felt it, you felt it. You ever felt it? <laughs> Come here. Oh, no, no. Come on, set between my legs, it'll be okay. I it won't be okay. Time. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little more loosey-goosey than normal. Let's turn you sideways, All right? So, I'm here, All right? <laughs> Shit. Right? So go ahead, try it. So get on my side. Alright, so you're gonna. That, is this again? Like this? Yeah, like that. Now, all that's gonna happen. Yep. Yeah, get on this side. Get to me side to side. Now, what's gonna happen? You got your grip. You're gonna change this leg. This leg's gonna come behind me. So turn it. Like this? Nope, the other way. Good, bring this leg behind me. All right, let's get this leg behind me. Right. Now, this leg, let me show you real quick. You just All you're gonna off. do is here. <laughs> this leg is gonna be here. Okay, like this. So, yep, you're gonna stagger. You're gonna hold me. Next time. Out of shape. So all I do is I'm getting here in this position, and then I'm here, okay? Now I'm in tight. Arm, I'm just going to... arm in or out matter? If, ideally, I want your arm in. So yeah. That's one less thing for you to be able to do. That's what I want to So I'm here. Yeah. I'm okay. stepping. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good one. Can you do it from the beginning? And see, the deal with it is, it's like, you ever remember... Ever seen anybody in the video game where one kid goes low and the bully pushes him over the other kid that's been oh, over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what we're doing. So you got your knee here. Yep. And I'm, so, I'm tripping you. Basically. So grab, so put this, get my grip, right? This foot comes behind, this foot comes forward. This one? This one. Oh, let's do it away from the This foot is behind me, so get, put it this way like. Yeah. Almost. So watch. So you're, pretend, uh, pretend I'm you. Yeah. You're gonna end up in this position. Okay. Okay. Not me from no, you're gonna end up in that position. Oh, I got you. Right. So when you, this is why, I like, when I hit this position, I'm here. I'm tight. And then all you're doing is stepping forward. 
And when I step forward, my ass is on your hip right now. Right? Imagine. And then all I'm doesn't doing is dropping. Doesn't bounce around. So I'm stepping this way with you yep. over here. Going across. Okay. Absolutely. I get you. All right. Yep. So get that right in. The leg is through. <laughs> now the only thing. Do I want to come down with you? You want to drop to a lunge on that leg. Like. So, yep. So if you're here. The actual movement, it's, it, it, it kind of folded because of this, but the actual movement is this. Oh, okay. Right? It's the, it's the, it's the change in your height mm -hmm. and the flip that throws you. Mm -hmm. Right? So it doesn't matter. Here, that leg through. But, now, the only thing you're doing, what did I do wrong? You got a little far in. You tried to cut over here. You really only need to cut the leg, but it's this as you drop to the line. Okay. Right? Yeah. All right. Here. Go this way. Better. It's hard to get it down good because this is bouncy. Yeah. Right? And that does throw a little bit off. Uh -huh. But again, you want to be here. Uh -huh. So come here. I'll show you. Okay. You want to be. I'm here. Right? Uh -huh. It's like a whip motion. Yeah. Right? So, Jane, this leg comes forward. This right leg? Yep, this leg comes here. Yep. Yeah. Better. Much better, actually. You get on a hard mat where you're not bouncing as much. Yeah. The you'll balance lock it is down. weird up here. But the bounce is on there. Yep. Cool. All right, listen, I'm gonna tell you what my drill sergeant told me, okay? I've taught you just enough to go downtown and get your ass whooped, all right? <laughs> Everyone, thank our instructor for taking yes, thank you. Thank you, man. Thank time you. out of his busy day to be here with us. Always a pleasure. He runs a very big business down here and a bunch of gyms and he's Andy. taking time out of his busy day just for us. Is there gyms around here? Yeah. I'm about a 30 minute drive of my closest one from here probably. I'm in Frederick. Oh, you in Frederick? Yeah. My gym's in Frederick. Oh, no shit? Yeah. There? Do you have a card? I don't, but I'm super easy to remember. Yeah. I own Soldier Fit. Uh -huh. My name is Danny. Danny at Soldier Fit. Soldierfit.com. Yep. Yep. And you guys always do the self-defense classes? So what actually happened is we had the martial arts. I started my company because I did a fight. Mm -hmm. And I got my ass whooped the whole fight and came back and won. And the guy that owned the gym gave me a chance after that to bring my business in. And it blew up. So I wanted to pay it forward to them. So I started opening their studios in my gyms. And one of the guys, Zach Davis, uh, who I'd love for you guys to meet, he's awesome. He was a, a UFC fighter, uh -huh. uh, was on Dos Santos and uh, Brock Lesnar's Tough Enough season. Uh -huh. So he ran the martial arts portion of the gym for six years and then wanted to own his own company. So we sold it to him. Still in the same building. I'm still an instructor with him. Um, I teach Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, I know enough. I know enough. I know more than the average bear when it comes to striking, but I wouldn't call me a striking coach by no stretch of the imagination. But we up there we teach Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, no gi submission wrestling, which is very your shirt shorts and all that. Um, and then uh, we teach we call it personal defense systems, mm -hmm. but it's a form of mixture of Thai boxing, kickboxing, and boxing. But if you guys ever want to come up, I actually do. It's like, like two o'clock. So two o'clock on Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, a lot of the instructors roll, but I would bring you guys up for that. I would let you see a couple of us rolling just to see what a high level of it looks like. And then if you guys wanted, we could do some stuff with you and show you some basic stuff. But the, here's the bad part. Jiu-Jitsu is humbling and it takes time. Yeah. Okay. With, with only five belts, you get, it averages two years of belt before you get promoted. I mean, I don't mind that. But the first year is just getting smashed. But if you make it through the first year and the pieces start to come together, it's a thinking man's game, right? Um, it absolutely will allow you to defend yourself. I would take a blue belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu against the average person on the street any day of the week. Being able to defend themselves, keep themselves from getting hurt, dictate the fight, control how it has to play out, right? Um, Gracie once said famously though, you know, nothing makes you bulletproof. It, a belt covers one inch of your ass, it's up to you to cover the rest, right? Um, but the cool part about jiu-jitsu is you're gonna adapt it to your game. 
I promise you, your way of doing jujitsu would be way different than his way of doing jujitsu, right? And we actually have a guy, uh, Dwayne, who's uh, he's a black belt, built very similar to you. A little bit on the shorter stature, but very stocky, very muscular. And some of the things <laughs> that guy can do to you, you're just like, this is stupid. Like, this is legitimately stupid that that works, right? Um, and then Zach is tall like you, right? So he's long. So the way I compete against him versus the way I compete against you is going to be different, right? So that's part of the chess match. And then what will ultimately happen is you will find what you do good. And it will make no sense why you do it good. You just do it good. I go to the back very well. 90% of my submissions come from the rear naked choke that I just showed you. Even against high level guys, I'll get that on them. Or triangles, right? But you'll come in, figure out what works for you. It gives you a way to work out that's fun, that doesn't necessarily feel like working out. And you can protect yourself, which I think is a win. Because um, at least like my like like exercise journey has been like, I've been like losing weight pretty much like crazy. Okay. and. I'm pretty much close to the weight goal that I wanted, and now I want to like wake up and. What time do you wake up? I can wake up at early, so. All right, you will work out with me personally. <laughs> Six thirty a.m. You come join my crew. So I have a private coaching group that I run. All right. Um, the weightlifting we're gonna we're gonna do for you. Um, so you'll lift with us Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. All right. Deal. All right, y'all saw that, right? Okay. Yeah. Monday, Tuesday, so Thursday, Friday. So your deal, 6.30 a.m., all right? Okay. Um, just, you'll be at my gym. Um, what we'll do is, I'm trying to think. This is where the transformation of, of Zane happens right now. I mean, there's, this is the thing that I explain to people, like, this right here, oh, and I'll be super transparent with you. This right here, if you want to be in conditioning shape, if you want to have good cardio, this works well. If you want to, if you need to lose some weight and you need to get that started, this works well. If you want to change your body, the way you look, you need to lift weights. Mm. They're, they're, they're just, I used to be 300 pounds, but just so you know. Right, I've lost 150 pounds. I've lost a Backstreet Boy in my life. Ain't no lie, 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 lie. I was 16 a year. Good. If we put you on weightlifting, then it's going to change. Because here's why. I, my goal for every client I have is to add one pound of muscle. One pound of muscle. If I had one pound of muscle, you burn an extra six calories an hour. It doesn't sound like much, but it's just like compounding interest. This extra 144 calories a day, an extra 1,008 calories a week, it ends up being like 4,400 some calories a year. If I divide that by 3,500 calories, which is how many is a pound of fat, then you will lose 14.976 pounds of fat extra a year by adding one pound of muscle. That's the key. And then eat. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you use my fitness pal? I can. Okay, use my fitness pal. All next week, you're gonna eat. If you were gonna eat it, eat it. If you were gonna drink it, drink it. I'm gonna put you on the end body, we're gonna get a full breakdown. But I've got, are you on Facebook? Yeah. Find me on Facebook. I'll put you in the, my coaching group is on Facebook. I've got all these women in my group. My goal in life is to get women to do pull-ups and increase men's cup size, right? <laughs> so, all these women that were training before I started this group, they'd been members of Soldier Fit for a while, they were in great shape, but they were like, I want to do something more. I'm like, lift weights. They're like, I don't want to get in the weight room. The weight room is for men. I don't want to be bulky. I don't want... Listen, if it was that easy to bulk up, there wouldn't be a skinny dude on the planet. We'd all be walking around looking like The Rock, right? Anybody not want to look like The Rock? I want to look like The Rock, right? I'd be bald as shit to look like The Rock, <laughs> right? They got in, and they, but they were scared. And so I put them in my group. They went through the weight room. I'm talking about women with four or five different kids, right? Abs, muscles, the whole nine yards. You know how much cardio we did a day? 10, maybe 15 minutes. The rest is weightlifting. I sculpt your ass. If you do what I tell you, I'll sculpt you. All right? So you guys are going to support him. Absolutely, right? yeah. Because right? you know what's going to happen? He's going to wake up and not want to go one day. And y'all going to say, bullshit. You're gonna go, no, right? I'm, I'm pretty disciplined. Okay, all right, good. Because otherwise I'm gonna call Luke, be like, you Luke, you got like yeah. 10 witnesses. Y'all made me come back out here, Dave. Here. What's that? I'll come back out here. here. I'm, I'm dead. He knows out here. He, he, I think he, work, he works yeah. at Children's Fit. How do you yeah, know he, him? He's my personal trainer. Really? I see him on Saturdays. Okay. And he awesome, sees my awesome. dad, too. Awesome, did you do massages and stuff that you do? No, but he said he was going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wanting to, he yeah. actually massaged uh, one of my clients the other day. Yeah, no, I love Zafir, he's great. How do you know him? Did you go to school with you? No, my dad started seeing him and then he was like, because I don't go to Soldier Fit, yeah. I go to Planet Fitness. He's like, yeah. oh, I'll go meet you on like the yeah. weekends and uh, train you for an hour. So yeah. 
he's a good dude, man. Yeah, he's awesome. Though. Awesome, yeah. Well, come on up, and then we'll we'll get it in. All right. Yeah. Um, just shoot me an email. Get my contact from him. We'll get you set up. The main thing I want to try to see about doing is um, I do some some coaching and stuff through it. But Monday is bench. Tuesday is deadlift. Wednesday is off. Thursday is military press. Friday is squats, and we build the workouts around all of those. All right. Dude, all right. you're gonna grow your butt. All right, listen. Did you, did you come out? Give yourself a round of applause for coming out here. Holds, I hope you hold Tim to that. He had a wooden motorcycle bike thing, so he can get you on. <laughs>